Greetings survivors and friends, this is going to be a short roundup vid today as I have a couple of special missions to do but I do have some exclusive images and footage of the new rail network link up and tutorial island so stay tuned for that. But first, a lightning roundup of what's new in this month's patch to Rust. The Brutalist building skin as shown in depth last week and that's now a stone skin is on the store. It costs the same as brick and is perfect for those looking for that post-war Britain slash eastern block aesthetic. Turrets got a surprise change this month, mainly to prevent players having too much fun, I mean to mitigate their abuse by limiting you to only having 12 active at any one time within a 40 meter radius. You can still place more than this, you'll just have to rig up some electrics to turn them on and off as needed. Also, you can still manually take control of a turret that's disabled, and server owners please take note of these two convars for adjusting the numbers. SMGs were subject to change this month and have been buffed, namely Encone reduced, more damage, less bullet drop, burst mode improved, more accurate, less recoil. Wow. Also a surprise change, weather's getting worse in Rust. So realistic. Rain, storms and thick fog are going to be happening more frequently, but as a bonus, water catchers will fill up much quicker in rainy weather. As mentioned before, the homing missile launcher now has ADS with a scope to help stay on target, the TC has a new layout with space for more tools, and it's all on the same screen. You can toggle vending machines on the map, small batteries have a higher capacity and output more power, it's slightly brighter underwater, you can't respawn on a tug if you're too close to water monuments like the oil rigs, and workbenches can now be crafted with from slightly farther away. The global network basis setting has been reactivated after the pugs were squashed, hopefully, but it's still experimental so we'll be off by default for now. Also off by default is the cached browser setting, which if you don't like waiting for server lists to load, you can turn on now. And in this week's Rust Insights on the dev blog you can see a lot of vital info, such as that 80% of players are in a team not surprising really, and the least repaired items were a snow machine, closely followed by beds, cooked chicken, and a couple of sardines. Okay. Oh yes, and charitable Rust plus associated Twitch drops are coming up next week. For a full list of other small changes and tweaks you can pause here or visit the dev blog. On to works in progress now, and as promised, here are two upcoming things to look forward to. First, the rail network link, which as you can see, is coming along nicely. The idea is to finally allow you to take trains to and from both the above and below ground networks and go wherever you please. This should allow for all sorts of fun, and as you can see here, there are going to be new tunnel entrances to link both up. Also, as mentioned lots of times recently, an optional tutorial to gently break new players into the horrors, I mean wonders of Rust, is being worked on and here's a little bit of extremely placeholdery and rough footage to give you an idea of how this is going to work. It should be broken up into a number of missions which will guide noobs through the basics and allow them to hit the ground running, as it were most likely running away from something, but they'll be running at least. Both of these, as mentioned, are extremely work in progress and subject to you know what, so don't take anything here as final. As for ETA, rail networks should be coming in sometime this month for testing, and the tutorial is probably going to be later, but hopefully still this year. Right, that's it, mustache. Let me know your thoughts, like and subscribe, follow me on all my other socials, links below, and if you appreciate my work here, then you can support me with super thanks, YouTube memberships, and on Patreon. In the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. So realistic.